Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh In this video, I got for you guys 10 tips to help you memorize the Quran so Tip number one, pretty straightforward You want to have a sincere niyyah You want to have the right intention As you guys know Every action is judged by its intentions So for every good deed, everything that we do in our lives We want to have a good intention so that we'll be rewarded for it So what's the right intention? So when reading the Quran, you want to have uh, the intention to read for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, you want to have that spiritual connection. You know, you want to gain reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then after that, you could also have the intention to to benefit yourself, to gain knowledge, to have the Quran as a witness on the day of judgment. And it's important to have multiple, uh, I guess, intentions so that you gain the most reward just by reading the Quran one time. And so what's the wrong intention? The wrong intention is to, to read to be praised by others, to uh, to maybe there's prize money for a competition or something, or maybe your parents or a teacher or somebody forces you to read. And when, when you read the Quran for these intentions, uh, there's really no benefit uh, or no barakah for you to do it. And in fact, there's actually a story of a man uh, who he paid uh, sadaqah, he, he donated a lot of money, he I did a lot of worship, he he read the Quran a lot, you know, he did all these good things, but he still ended up in hellfire. And the reason he ended up in hellfire was because of his intention. He didn't do it for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he did it to be praised by others, and that's exactly what he got. So, that's tip number one, and it's super important to have the right intention. Tip two, finding a good place to focus. You know when like you do your homework, you know, you go to the library or uh, you find that good quiet place to 100% focus, no distractions whatsoever. Well, same thing applies to memorizing the Quran, you know. Ideally, the best place to do it is the masjid. You know, this is where you're going to get the, the best vibe, I guess, uh, to uh, get that spiritual connection to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But uh, when you're at home, you know, you could have like, a, I guess, like a mini masala, like a special place where uh, the only thing you do is is worship when you're there. But uh, even if you don't have that, uh, your room or anything that could help you focus and it's quiet, uh, that works too. Tip number three, pretty simple. You wanna have a plan. Going into that Quran session, you wanna already know what you're gonna do. For example, you wanna memorize a certain surah and how long you're gonna spend doing that. And a uh, simple little plan right here for today, today's Quran plan, I wanna spend one hour really trying to focus and memorize Surah al Qawtar, inshallah. So the next step, start your level and set goals to improve. Some of you are already great at memorizing the Quran, but some of you are still even having trouble reciting and pronouncing the Quran properly. And that's fine. Whatever level you're at, start at that level and do, do little things to improve. For example, let's say you're struggling memorizing or uh, even pronouncing the Quran properly. Well, uh, instead of jumping and memorizing half a page, one page, start small, do little memorizing, and then focus more on that reciting and pronouncing the Quran properly. And then, uh, for example, you're already great at memorizing. Well, do more. Enhance your memorization or even do stuff like tajweed to, to just continue to improve. And in order to improve, you must set goals. You want to have that long-term goal, but you also want to have the short, significant goals like uh, you know, memorizing this certain amount of surahs in one month or being able to recite fluently doing tajweed for this month. Just these little small goals that will inshallah build up and reach that ultimate goal of uh, memorizing the entire Quran inshallah. So the next two tips I like to call the two L's. But don't worry, no L is taken here. Two L's equal to dub. So, first L is listening. And so what I mean is, 
finally decided, finally decided that you like to listen to and someone that also fits your style of reading. And in the beginning, you want to always choose the same reciter, stick with this reciter every time you memorize. And so, so what listening does is, first, it, it helps you know how to pronounce or recite the ayah properly. And two, it also helps with like the, the audio, audio part of memorization. And because you could even memorize things just by just by listening. And if you think about it, you know, like when you get like something stuck in your head, it's, it's normally from things that you either heard or things that you listen to. So second L, second L is looking, and I really mean looking. A lot of us, when we try to memorize the Quran, we look at the Quran one, two times, look up, try to memorize, look back down, look up. Now, when I say looking, I really mean looking, like look at the ayat 15, 20 times and really try to have it in your picture memory. And so this is the visual aspect of memorization. And you combine it with the other L, listening, this will definitely boost your memorization. Like I said, two L's equal a dub. So this next tip is understanding the meaning. Now, what if you don't understand Arabic? And the thing is, most of us don't. But the Quran has so many, so many words that are repeated over and over again. And it's, it's good to familiar, familiarize ourselves with these words because one, um, when you understand the meaning is you gain more of a connection when you read the Quran. And two, it's also gonna help with your memorization because once you familiarize yourself with these words, like let's say Qul, Qul means say, every time you're thinking, you know, you're trying to achieve something when you're memorizing, you just remember, oh, there was dialogue that's happening. So it's Qul. And it's, although it's hard to see right now, but um, there's so much benefit in trying to understand the meaning. So that's really key and it'll help you in your memorization as well. So my final three tips are the three R's. First R, repetition. Now it's obvious, this is everybody's go-to when memorizing. You know, if you wanna memorize something, just repeat it over and over again. But I wanna emphasize this. Even if you feel like you've memorized an ayah or a portion of the Quran, keep on repeating it over and over again. You wanna make it as if it, it flows so that you don't even have to think about it. So let's say like you've repeated something 15 times, repeat it 15 more times until you've solidified it. Second R. This is crucial. Probably one of the more important tips I have, and that is to muraja or review. And the Prophet ﷺ said, It's bad that some of you say, I have forgotten such and such verse of the Quran, for indeed he has been caused by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forget it. So keep on reciting the Quran, for it escapes the hearts of men faster than camel do. So unless you got photographic memory, it's basically in our nature to forget as human beings. And so this is why review is really important. And this is something that I wish I even did more when I was, uh, whenever I memorized the surah, because with the surahs that I did, it's so easy to retrieve and recite it at any time. But unfortunately with some of the surahs that I didn't review as much, it's almost as if I have to re-memorize it. And so another thing is it's really important to make sure you have somebody test your review because it's, it's different when you test by yourself and when you test with others. And also a great time to do review is whenever you're praying by yourself or praying any sunnah prayers. And this will not only strengthen your memorization, but this will also, uh, you will also gain the reward and khushu of salah. Last R, final tip is just to relax. There's no pressure. It's important that you don't stress yourself when memorizing the Quran. And because, you know, it will get difficult, it will get tough, but this happens to the best of us. You know, even the big name sheikhs, big name qaris, they have their own struggles too. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rewards those who struggle reading, reviewing, reciting, memorizing the Quran with double the reward. And so just remember, there's no pressure and you got to relax and enjoy every surah, every, every ayah that you recite. Bonus tip, use Quran apps that basically show the whole page as I mean, this will help you uh, review, memorize anywhere, anytime. 
but also uh, these apps they allow you to repeat an ayah or repeat a set of ayahs over and over again and this is really convenient for memorization so the app I use is Quran by Quran.com and this this is something I use every day and it, it really helps in my uh, reviewing and memorization so those are all my tips for memorizing the Quran and remember that all of these tips are things that have worked for me throughout my experience of memorizing and reading the Quran but it may not work for you and it's definitely not the law for memorizing the Quran but nonetheless, it is helpful and inshallah, if you have the desire and the discipline, it will work for you as well. Hopefully, I have shared something beneficial and may Allah make the Quran uh, uh, easy for us to read, maybe a light for us, a source of guidance for us, and uh, maybe a witness for us in the Day of Judgment. Ameen. Wa billahi tawfiq wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.